Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So, and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button. In this channel, I'll be talking about gear review, I'll be making tutorials about filmmaking, and tutorials about video editing. And in today's video, I want to talk about 10 keyboard shortcuts that I use to increase, vastly increase my editing process in Adobe Premiere Pro. These keyboard shortcuts have been very, very instrumental for me. So whenever I have a backlog of wedding videos, side projects, whenever I have to turn around videos really quick, these shortcuts have helped me speed up that process. So let's jump right into it. I have here open in Premiere Pro. I have imported a few shots here of a trip that I had to Iceland last year and I still haven't gotten around to edit, but um, travel video coming up very, very soon, I promise. So let's drop them all into the timeline. You can do that by dragging all of your clips and dropping them on your timeline. I have created a sequence that is in the 24 frames per second or 23.976 to be exact. And because this, some of the footage that I have here uh, it's not 23 frames per second, some of it is 29.97 and some of it is at 60 frames, 59.94 frames per second and I have one at 119.88 frames per second right here. And Adobe is telling me that there is a clip mismatch warning. I'm gonna go ahead and click keep existing settings because my final output is gonna be in 24 frames and what I'm going to do with the 60 frames footage and the 120 frame fr frames footage is slow it down uh, and make it slow motion for my timeline. So there's the first thing that I'll do, especially for some of the Mavic footage that was shot in 4K. My timeline is actually in 1080p in H high definition HD. So I want to select the three 4K footage clips, right click and select set to frame size. And right away, Premiere Pro adjusts the frame to um, match the one of your timeline, which in this case is 1080p. So let's jump into our first shortcut. These are in no particular order. So the first one is add a edit, Control K. So let's say I want to make a cut right at this spot right there. Let's zoom in a little bit on the timeline. Oops, that's too much. And we'll have that play. And boom, say I wanna cut it, make a cut there and have my clip start there. Press Control K or Command K if you're in a Mac. And bam, makes a cut right away where your current time indicator is. So how we, you would normally go about and cut footage if you're starting out in Premiere Pro it would be to select where you wanna make a cut go to your tools, select the razor tool, and go back to your current time indicator and right click and make a cut. My keyboard shortcut number two is a very, very simple one. V4 van or V4 very fast. What I like about the V shortcut, so simple, but let's, see, let's say I'm on the razor tool, I wanna make a cut. And rather than going back here and clicking on the selection tool, click them, press on V, and bam, back to the selection tool. And that leads me to keyboard shortcut number three, which is C for cut, or rather C for razor tool. I still don't know why they call it the razor tool. They should have just called it the cutting tool or cut, make an edit. Why razor? I don't get it. But anyway, let's say I am watching this Mavic footage of my wife walking towards the deserted plane in Iceland. Uh, we got there really late at night and it was still really, really bright out, but we we're able to get the place all to ourselves. So that was great. So I'm on the selection tool right now. Let's say I want to make a cut right here. Instead of going to the, to the tool panel, I would just press C on my keyboard. Bam. And right away, my selection tool becomes a razor tool. And right there, I click right there. I scrub a little bit forward, 
you can quickly play footage on your timeline by pressing the space bar button. Just a bonus keyboard shortcut for you right there, rather than going into your program monitor and pressing play and stop each time you need to go over your footage. Keyboard shortcut number four is the Q key. So what the Q key does, in short, it gets rid of everything before the playhead until the previous clip. So if, for example, if let's say I want my cut to start right here, if I press the Q button, it will ripple edit everything before the current uh, time indicator or the playhead. So bam, so it gets rid of that initial piece and just ripples the sequence towards the previous clip. This is what would happen if I didn't use the Q key. I would make a cut right here, and then I will select this little clip right here, get rid of it with the back piece, backspace button, and then drag my clips over. And keyboard shortcut number five, it's pretty much the same, but instead of ripple editing everything before the playhead, now it ripples edits everything after the playhead un up until the new clip. So let's say we're, let's go to a new clip right here of the famous Joku Sarlin, Joku Sarlin? Glacier Lagoon, let's just call it Glacier Lagoon. I can pronounce that. Say we're here and we're only needing five seconds of this. I press pause. Uh, I want to get rid of everything over here. So the, tr the traditional method, I would press C for a cut, razor tool, sorry. I will press C for a razor tool, click right there, make an edit. Now delete this little clip right there. Three steps. But if I just go and press the W key, Bam, it deletes it right away. And what it did is also, it didn't leave that huge gap over here um, that otherwise I would have if I had gone the traditional route. So Q and W are particularly useful to me whenever I wanna find, uh, I'm editing a short form video for Insta stories or whatnot. And I just want a little bit of a sound bite and I know that's the exact sound bite I want. And I don't want the rest either before or after that specific sound bite. So I'll either press Q or W. Now then the next keyboard shortcut that I use quite a lot is the A key. So what the A key does is just selects everything to the right of the current time indicator. Uh, you can also access that through the tools right here, track select forward tool, such a very long name for a quick and easy to use tool. I just call it the select all tool. So I have that selected. As you can see, it will select everything to the right of the playhead. So the more traditional route or the longer, slower route would be to click and select all these three clips and say I wanted to delete them, that'll be how I did them. Or if I wanted to move them, let's bring them back, Control Z. If I wanted to move them a little bit forward, create some empty space over here, click and drag by you know, dragging and making a, a marquee selection tool over all of these three clips. Keyboard shortcut number seven. This is another one that I really like to use, especially when I'm going over footage. So let's uh, go over some of the footage here. So let's double click this one right here. And we have it opened up in the source monitor. And if you play along, you see the footage right there. And let's create, let's go forward on our timeline right here. So let's say we want to add some footage from this clip. I would play along and rather than dragging it down and then playing it over here to select which clip I want it and then cutting and deleting. I could just do that directly from the source monitor. So by making a mark in and a mark out with the I and O keys. So press play, again, spacebar for, to watch the, this clip on the source monitor. Say I wanted this part right there, boom. So right away, just by pressing two keys, I was able to create in and out points 
for this clip that I want to use. And then I would then simply click and drag from the source monitor to my timeline. A way to make a very rough uh, cut of whatever footage you have, especially when you're go going over a ton of footage, this is a really quick and simple way of making your preliminary cuts to a clip. Keyboard shortcut number eight. This is the tilde key. The tilde key, if you do not know where it is, it's located to the left of your number one key or right above the tab key. So this is a really useful key, especially if you're editing sometimes on the laptop and you're on the go and your monitor is just too small and you would like to zoom in. Um, it's a very quick way of making whatever window you have selected or have your mouse key over for you to be able to toggle it to full screen with the click of a single key. Right, like that. So I say I want it <clears throat> to see more of my timeline. Uh, I'll press on the tilde key. Bam, I can see my timeline in full screen. Very useful just for you to quickly toggle through all your uh, screens here on Premiere Pro. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Your support will really benefit and support this channel. We would really appreciate it. So let's move on to keyboard shortcut number eight which are the plus and minus keys. So if you wanted to zoom in into your timeline, you would drag the zoom bar at the bottom of it, left and right to zoom in and out. And if you're editing a long project, if you have multiple layers of video and audio, uh, there's a much simpler way to go in and to refine your edits or to make uh, tiny adjustments. It is simply by just pressing the plus and minus keys. Plus, minus to see the whole timeline right there. And that brings us to our last keyboard shortcut, which I recently discovered maybe about a year ago, or maybe too late. It has been so useful in so many of my edits. So this is the backward slash key, which is right above your enter key and right next to your brackets key. By pressing on the back, backslash key, what it essentially does, it maximizes your timeline to fit in the current view. So it helps you to find yourself in an edit. So let's say you had a very long timeline and you were editing away on a little specific section and you wanted to see where you were in relation to the complete timeline, this would be a very quick and easy way to sort of like zoom out and have your timeline window show uh, the entire project and where you are in relation to that project. So let's say I'm right here and I've been trimming away over there and rather than uh, zooming in and out all the way, you could just press the backslash key and boom, it brings you right away. It gives you a whole picture of what you're uh, editing on your entire timeline. So there you have it guys, 10 keyboard shortcuts that will make you edit faster in Premiere Pro. I'll be creating another video later on on more keyboard shortcuts and more advanced keyboard shortcuts. So that is all for today. Let us know which is your favorite keyboard shortcut in Premiere Pro in the comments below. And if you like this video, please subscribe and I'll see you again at the next video.